Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Minions of Mirth. So, what I have done is I've completed killing Kenich. Finally. <laughs> Took a while. Uh, I'm now level 5 on all my characters. I got Kenich's skull. I also got the south and west towers for everybody. Also was able to harvest some skulls from... Um, just your basic frail skeletons, and then also clearing the tower up and down. And then um, I also got, um, yeah. So we have three, three quests to turn in now. So let's go ahead and get to it. But before we do that, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and train in our secondary class for everybody. So I was able to get some wheat and do the wheat quest a few times on all on my characters. So I now have around like nine or ten platinum, which was uh, one of those things. It's nice. I'm glad that they that well, they probably didn't mean to, but I'm glad that they uh, left it in the game. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Yes, I want to. So now I am. A barbarian as a secondary class uh, let's go ahead and go in here and we need to go ahead and change oh nope we need to go here and we need to change this I'm gonna put about half half into primary half into secondary that way it'll give our secondary class the ability to catch up and then while this is not what a lot of people say to do this is what I'm doing <laughs> um I was also able to finish the ring quest for my monk. Uh, I didn't show you me turning it, uh, turning it in, but uh, here it is. It is um, reflex three, dex three, agility three, movement nineteen, and then if we go into here, I pulled it up. Um, oh, sorry, uh, pulled it up, and it also has two procs on it. One which is um, going to give me a lot of a lot more stats, and then one that's going to give me. Um, some melee bonuses. So very, very nice. A very nice weapon indeed. All right. So the next one um, is not in here. I'm trying to trying to make. Let me go ahead and pull my list up here. Let's see. So I'm trying to see what secondary classes. Ranger is paladin. Okay. So let me go ahead. Since we're in this building, ranger is paladin. Secondary, cleric, cleric, barbarian, okay, wait a minute, cleric, cleric, thief, shaman, barbarian, okay, yeah, 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 so paladin for the ranger, red bark, we'll go ahead and go get the paladin training, and I think he actually should be able to use uh, spells now, but I, I, I may be wrong, um, let's go ahead and go into here, come on, talk to the guy. Train, and he can use Minor Healing, level 5 Ranger. <laughs> Next spell is 11, Grasping Roots. So either way, it's a heal. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'll take that. Um, let's go ahead and go into here. Item, heal, spell is very first spell. We'll put that on page 1. And we'll go ahead and change here. Put that um, right there. Nice. So we got a heal on him. Uh, he'll be adding into the heal abilities. Now, the way I have this is I think at the end I'll have one, two, three, four clerics in the group. I'll have secondary healers. And then um, also have almost every class, if not every class, in this group. So let's go ahead and say yes. And yes, that's a platinum. It's a platinum. He better be happy. <laughs> Minor heal. Um, okay, a lot of the spells. Now, I don't know how many spells each one of these guys gets. Um, we'll have to look it up because there's going to be spells that are dropped by mobs. And we'll have to farm those mobs to be able to get those spells. And... Um, that's just life. So let's go ahead and go over here. Now the cleric who's here, he is going to be a shaman as a secondary class. 
And we'll, once we're done, we'll make sure that everyone uh, has the level changes. I just wanted to have them all in their secondary classes by the time uh, before we turn in our quests. Because our quests are going to give us a lot of experience. So let's do this. And we'll, we're targeted on Bregas. Look at this. Five gold. The cheapest one. There we go. And now I am a shaman. All right. So who is going to be a cleric? Wizard's going to be a cleric. There we go. There we go. Come on. There, 54 gold. Taking all of my money just to put everybody in their secondary classes. We also have um, the bard. The bard is going to be a cleric. Secondary. Now, I'm probably not going to do... Um, all the spells for everyone right off the bat. It's going to take me a while because, again, this is taking a lot of my money. Secondary class. Let me just mark off who I have finished for secondary classes real quick. There we go. Wizard, cleric, bard, cleric, um, cleric, shaman, warrior, barbarian. So all I have left is the thief... Monk. Monk Thief. And this is where, once we get him high enough, we can actually have him start doing um, poison making. So, that is, that's cool. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and also check in here. Make sure that whenever the warrior gets classes, warrior, uh, I can run and, and look at this at the same time. Just looking for... Dual wield level six. It's an odd level. Um, let's see. Dual wield monk is level one. Everyone else is level six. So that's that. That works fine. We'll be able to dual wield on everybody in the next level. Woo! All right. Let's go ahead and go to Ishtak. And hopefully, I made sure that they were able to be. A, a thief uh, but I'm pretty sure I did because not all classes can or not oh mm, okay well that's a bummer <laughs> uh, well if they can't be that let me see what are the the um then I'll go with Barbarian as the second and Bard as his third. Because um, until the very last level, Bards get the ability to have their own... They have a haste for everyone else, but then they have their own haste. So it, it modifies their damage. That kind of... That's annoying. That's so annoying that... Um, oh... What was, okay, well, let me pull this up real quick. Um, hit this. I'm going to close out this real quick. Um, options. Go to um, GUI font size. There we go. Let's go to the bottom here because that red is very hard for me to read. Talk must be level 5. Okay. All right. I'm glad I read that. I'm glad I read that first. Um, so um, all we have to do is, uh, I got to level. I got to kill things to level before I can do my quest turn-ins. Because the whole point of this, all right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, this is the only person that I actually put the bars on, I think. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we're going to make it, make it so that nobody gets secondary experience yet until the, until the monk gets their level. The way I can do this is um, the bard has an ability that allows them to um, hit um, all the mobs in their area with a damage spell. And over here are spiders, and there's a lot of them. So we might pick up some of these moat rats. Let's 
go ahead and do this. Come on, guys. Come on, join the fight. Oh, don't hit me too hard. <laughs> um, we need to have them stay rather close. Oh, but tiny mole rat, <laughs> or uh, not mole rat, but uh, tiny. Where are these guys at? Okay, here they are. You know what? I'm not really worried about those guys. Let's just get these. Okay. Come on, you two. All right. We got these guys all swarmed together. Let's get them a little bit closer. And there we go. And we got... His kick. And we got these guys. Okay, do I have any more? Okay, we still have a little bit more. There we go. He's leveled. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the spiders. All right. So let's go ahead and get him trained as a thief. I, I knew I didn't miscalculate that. I, I knew for a fact that the dragon could be thieves. That's the whole reason I made him a, th uh, a dragon is because it gives him the best overall melee stats. Um, starting off, he doesn't give him the maximum strength or anything like that, but it does give him a hundred or 110 to all stats that have to do with melee effects. Um, it doesn't, his, uh, his other stats like his, um, mysticism, his intelligence or mind or his wisdom are not maximum. So let's go ahead and go in here. There we go. Yeah, you can see all of these are boosted, but these are base. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's go ahead and get make him a thief. Put everyone on middles, and then let's turn in quests because we got a lot of items to turn in. And then we'll, um, yeah. So I'm trying to think of what we get for finishing the Kenich quest. It's been a while. I know that by finishing the faction quest and turning in um, the orders that I was able to pick up between each Kinnich kill um, should give us a sword, like a two-hand sword. All right, let's go ahead and see here. Um, we're going to go ahead and oh, train. Okay. Oh, yes. Boom. All right. Everybody is now. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and go into here. And I know this is a long video of me just showing you me doing quests and stuff and getting things ready. But this is a lot of the game. You got to get this stuff done. It's just I'm taking care of it for uh, six people at once. So middle of the road there. Middle of the road. Kind of slightly lower, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, the game will figure it out. There we go. Two more. Not that much. Like right there. And then we'll turn in quests and see how many levels we get in our secondary levels. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be spending a lot of money on spells right away for those guys. Going to be worried more about the primary. But having the secondary, it boosts our mana, it boosts our strength, it boosts our other stats. So very, very much well worth it. All right. Time to turn in quest, guys. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start off um, by doing Kinnich. And then we'll come back around to do the captain's quests, uh, which are the skulls and also the orders. So we'll see how this all goes. Hopefully this won't take too long. Um, a lot of it is just the running to get there. And we do have some run haste on as well. And then we'll go ahead and I need to add this buff. There we go. 
All right. So the quests are the 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 main thing about the quest is getting this this skill right here, this green skill called presence. And hopefully, whenever I turn this in, we'll see exactly what I'm talking about as far as our stats go. Um, I don't know what stat to specifically look at, but it should be a beneficial. Uh, come on, guys. Come on out. Sometimes it feels like they're coming to attack you, but it, they're just coming to attack what's at your feet. All right, let's talk to this guy. Um, I am, I'm here to deliver her skull. Okay, so choose that. I don't get presents. Has gained one presence. Okay, there he goes. He gets a presence. Um, I don't know what <laughs> what that up though. Um, and you can see here, uh, everyone should have gotten primary and secondary experience. There we go. So let's go ahead and continue on. We'll just, uh, there we go. I'm here to turn this in. I'm here to turn this in. I'm here to turn this in. Come on, just do it. We can do it faster. All right, so we're almost through our secondary, uh, first level of our secondary class, and then also our wizard. Uh, okay, so now we need to talk to this guy. Let's close this. Chancellor Tullop, I am here. I am new here. How can I help? The shuffling footsteps of the dead are getting louder. Something evil is amassing on the trenched borders. Go speak to Captain Pedriel at once. Ask him about the undead wars. <coughs> <coughs> Oh boy, <laughs> don't do that voice again. That kills my kills my throat. Mm. All right, we're gonna live. We're we're good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to the captain, and he's gonna want skulls. Um, this is where I have ten skulls per person. We'll do all of them, and this is gonna maximize the faction for all of these guys. Once it maximizes the faction, we'll be able to go ahead and... Oh, it may not maximize it, but it'll definitely get it pretty high. Enough to be able to start doing turn-ins. So here's the captain. And we'll just hand over skulls. Oh, we're on him. Let's go into here. Wait a minute. What? Still showing that he has 10. Okay, people are leveling. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm confused here. Why is it on Shablazzle? Okay. Let's go to here. For some reason, it's let me turn in things, but it's not allowing me to actually see... Um, them going out of my inventory. So, um, oh, what? Wait a minute. Where's his skulls? Where's his skulls? Where's his skulls? Where's his skulls? Weird. I'm confused. I'm confused by this whole situation. 
<laughs> um, but we'll keep doing it until it tells me not to. Okay, apparently that one's taken care of. Oh, wait a minute. Make sure. Continue down here. Okay. So, let's do this. Bring back news. I bring back news. I bring back news. Bring back news. <laughs> Um, I bring back news and I bring back news. All right. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right. Let's take a look at our stats. We're level two on, on everybody. It looks like, and we are, um, now level six. Dual wielding, guys. Dual wielding. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the quest line information here. Move this over here. Move this to the center. Bring it. And we are now on part C. See, this is where the weird thing is. Is it um, everyone did part C? There's part B now. I'm confused. Anyway. Decipher the text, bring orders to Lundrill the Wise to decipher the text. Alright, we're not going to be fighting anything. No reason to go train at the moment. Uh, because it trains by doing. So, let's go ahead and head over there. Wow, this is, this is fun. <laughs> uh, but we do have some spells that might help us. So, let's go ahead and go into here. And what spell do we get here? Haste, oh, nice. I don't know if this is the individual haste. Oh no, this is group haste. Nice, there we go. We have our first group haste. There we go. And let's go into here. Go there. This is level six. And that's level eight. Oh, thank you. Thank you, person. I don't know. Spell. Wrath. And this is 50 meters, but it is a single target. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And wizard. Do I have spells for him on me? I don't. All right. So here we go again. Training quest all at the same time. Um, I need this text deciphered. Ooh, we gain three presents for this one. I need this text deciphered. I need this text deciphered. So yeah, we have to do this for every character. This is why um, a lot of the times whenever we have quests that I'm going to have to go harvest things, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get it done. But uh, we will get it done. Um, so now we need. Um, now we need to go to. At a place that we shouldn't be going to yet. So. Oh. Wrong thing. Here we go. Part D. We need to go. Um, oh no. <laughs> Okay, um, it's so weird. It feels like we're getting so much for free um, right off the bat. But right now we should have five presents per person. Yeah, look at that. Look at that five presents. <laughs> we got money. Uh, or no, we don't have money. But still, it's, it is a nice, nice quest line. Um, it'll get you leveled up pretty fast and, um, yeah, it's, it's looking nice. So the next thing we'll end up doing is probably going to the sewers, which will be in the next video. The sewers is where things turn up. This is where we're going to actually start making a lot of experience. We're also going to be able to, uh, get different rings for people to be able to get, um, 
skills or though or rather stat items we'll also be able to get stat item weapons um i have urgent news okay perhaps captain pendrel was correct in his fears oh oxu frecrium was his great 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 grandfather a mighty wizard that defeated um, Ronta the Plaguebringer 150 years ago. The attack was un, uh, of the uh, of undead took place near this very spot. Wave after wave, the captain's family has guarded this city for generations, waiting for it to happen again. We must be sure. Uh, we must be sure, though, before we take any action. There have been rumors circling trends lately. Uh, whispers of the end of our realm. I was. Uh, I, I wish for you to seek the out information to determine if these things are related. Locate error. Um, I'm not gonna say that name. I can't, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> in Mount Zarm, and see what she knows. Okay, so we got two presents for this. We're going to definitely do it for everybody else. Boom. 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 All right, so I know what we have to do for the, this next part. Um, it's going to be another long quest that we're going to have to work on. Um, but I'll show you where the things are and we may be able to take them out now. I don't, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, I don't know what they're even called. If they're just called wolves or whatever they're called, but we have to kill wolf, four, uh, wolves to get four pelts for everybody. So that's going to be the next part. So we ended up getting seven presents for everybody. This is a great start. Hopefully by the end of the game, we will have done enough quests to get to the maximum presents, which is around 400 uh, something. And then you have items and weapons that give you presents. Um, so it's awesome. It's, I mean, it's hard to really relate um, how much difference it is. But what I might do is um, I might make a second character or a, a sixth, seventh character and show you what the difference is between this guy and say that other warrior who is the same level. Um, and just, yeah, I think that might be the best way to go about it. But this is it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.